13 nothing. Stay hot, guys. I'm so fucking tired of watching this team play baseball. If we're going to suck, I might as well be a White Sox fan. Pretty depressing. They just fucking shit the bed. I think it's just Toronto sports. This is completely unacceptable. It's fucking garbage. This is Fan First Network. We're outside Rogers Center. The Blue Jays just got shit kicked 13 0. Fans are pissed. And you'll also hear what I think about all of this at the end of the video. Blue Jays lose 13 to nothing, and they lose the series 2 1 to the Rays. What are you guys thinking after that game? I don't want to come back. I'm cheering for the Rockies now. Terrible. Terrible excuse for a team. If we're going to suck. I might as well be a White Sox fan, you know? This is pathetic. I think we get rid of the whole team, uh, start over. Trade deadline's coming. Yeah. Sell everybody. Sell everything. Don't keep anything. Atkins too. Get rid of oh, Atkins, Atkins, Shapiro. Schneider. Get rid of them. I want Anthopolis back. This afternoon was our worst losing margin this season, 13 nothing, And they got booed on their home field today. Just sum up how the fans are feeling about this team right now. I think we're all just disappointed and pissed off. We're Toronto fans. We're used to losing, but man, oh, man, that's brutal. This is different, yeah. though. Oh, yeah. and so last thing, Kevin Kiermeyer yesterday announced that he's going to be retiring after this season. He played his former team today against the Rays. What will you remember about him as a baseball player? Uh, my mom thinks he's hot. <laughs> I mean, your mom, your mom knows she's what she's saying. Taste. She's, she's got good taste. Your mom knows what she's talking about. What did you guys think of the game? It's the Jays, you know. You know. They've had a rough year so far, and uh, they didn't disappoint. 13 nothing. Stay hot, guys. 13 beers later. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm yeah. looking for 7,000 million Milky Lobe Ultras <laughs> is what I'm looking for. They just fucking shit the bed. So I'm looking for a lot of beers. It was a brutal watch, yeah. if I'm yeah. being honest. We pay all these guys how much? And, like, how are we getting slapped like this? And, like... Listen, listen, the Raptors won, that was cool. Like, we gotta have something decent. Like, we have an all-star, that's good, but we gotta step it up. This is Toronto, it's a big city. You know, we gotta have some pride. Yep. That it shouldn't be like that. Bro, our second baseman led less runs than our actual pitchers did. Come on, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. And like you said, a big city, a big market, all this good merchandise, and the a team- good fan base behind Good fan base, the and they, they ain't pulling through for us. They're, you got to get the job done or you got to at least be competitive with it like we are not coming here to tank we have expectations to win come in and win or at least be competitive at least be competitive how do you think the fan base overall is feeling about this franchise right now terribly terrible terribly they need to find a way to hit the ball what did you think of today's game you know this is my 120th race game and i gotta tell you roger center up there with the other 30 ballparks i gotta tell you as a baseball aficionado this has got to be on uh, my top seven let's say I, I, I love the city love the ballpark and how often do we get to see a position player pitch in the ninth inning, yeah. and then I, I, there's something kind of fun and magical about that moment because we never get to see it Kevin Kiermaier played for, obviously, the Rays and the Jays, and yesterday he announced that he's going to retire after this year. What will you remember about Kiermaier as a ball player? Oh, man, you know what? Now I'm kind of getting the goosebumps, you know, a little bit watery. Nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia. You know, because the Rays brought him up. I was at his first game. I own his game-used cap from his first appearance at the wild card in Cleveland. Really? In 2013. You know, Kevin, Ke and I met his dad at the World Series. His dad was super cool in 2020. You know, Kevin Kiermaier might not be the best hitter, but God damn, he's one of the best defensive players of all. The last oh, gloves, five, man. If, <laughs> so many. Uh, I will always remember that Kevin Kiermaier could catch any fucking ball at any given moment at any given time. That's what I'll always remember about Kevin Kiermaier. And he's a Midwestern guy. You know, he's from Indiana. His brother is the uh, grounds crew keeper for the Chicago Cubs. Uh, he's a legend. He's, a le he's, he's as much of a legend as you can get with a uh, two, 200 batting average. Yeah, whatever he had. But how many gold gloves has he had? So many. What did you think about the game today? It was brutal. It honestly, like, wasn't surprising, though. Like, every game, it's like, I'm expecting they're losing. Ernie did a great job in the ninth inning, pitching. Hey, on the mound? Yeah, it was shocking. I mean, he was striking out with 55 miles per hour, so. What will you remember about Kevin Kiermaier as a ball player? He was a great outfielder. Like, every day, or not every day, but, like, every time, he'd always bring his A game out there. Not the best batter, but, I mean, outfielder, he was amazing. Yeah. I don't know shit about baseball, but fuck it. Ah, oh, well, just we'll swear try. and shit. Yeah. Come, come right yeah, here. Shit. You got it. Bye. It's completely uncensored. All right. Blue Jays lose 13 to fucking nothing. 
it was an awful game. Right now it's not looking too good, but in the future we'll look better. What are the next steps to take to be better, like you said? Uh, fire the manager. Fire the manager. Yeah. I just got to go. He's got to go. Yeah, we got to get the old guy back in. Uh, John Gibbons, baby? Get me back in. Fuck yeah. I say get rid of Schneider, get rid of Bichette. Okay, the Blue Jays have won two series of their last ten. Today was the most runs they've lost by all year long, and they got booed in front of their home fans. How do you think the fan base is feeling about this team overall? Well, it's just like the Leafs. We're, uh, we're getting sewer left and right, so like Toronto's not a good place to be right now. But I think it's just Toronto sports. Yeah. It's typical. You know? How she goes, yeah. Well, we Look at the Raptors right now. Yeah, they're also shit. <laughs> they, they fucking suck. Yeah. We're, we're more focused on the Leafs, but, I mean, Jays just as bad. They lost by the most runs they have all season today, 13 nothing, and they got booed today. How do you think the fan base is generally feeling about this team? Not good. I booed them too. Yeah, we were booing them too. You were booing them. Yeah. yeah especially uh, Pearson. Oh, we uh, Giving up uh, two walks in a row. That yeah. was very sad. Yeah. Uh, how about Trevor Richards, though? He was, he was pretty bad, hey? Pitchers too suck. old, too old. And all their pitchers just suck. Yeah. I mean, except, except for their starters. Yeah. More yeah I, I, I can't really complain with that. I think that's a pretty fair statement. Kevin Kiermeyer announced that he's going to be retiring at the end of this year. What will you remember about Kevin Kiermeyer? Um, uh, his Gold Glove plays. I'll remember that time he stole the game plan from Kirk when he played for the Rays. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm going to remember about him. him. Any last words, guys? Jay suck. We need a rebuild. I like that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, take care. Thanks for doing this. They've won two series in their last 10. Today was the most runs they've lost by all season long, and they got booed today in front of their home fans. How do you think the fan base overall is feeling about this team? Not great. Yeah, I think they hate them. <laughs> hate them? That's a strong word to use. Yeah, with a capital H, they hate them. Straight up. Capital H bolded letters. Bolded letters, capital H. Underline. Underline, bolded, exclamation point, times two. Times four. Times two. Okay, what do you think? I mean, I definitely don't think they were happy. I don't know if hate was the right word for it, but capital H too. Capital H, but I don't. I definitely don't think they were happy with today's performance. No, Fine. it was. It was uh, Fine. not great. Fine. Fine. Okay. They were unhappy with the capital H bolded, <laughs> underlined, times two exclamation. exclamation point. Whatever. Okay. Great. At the seventh, I just felt bad about cheering every time we'd ought to hit. Like I just like I just did a couple claps and then Golf just, claps, hey? Yeah, just try to move on because this was not becoming fun for uh, anyone. One thing probably me and the Jays fans have in common, uh, fuck the Yankees, fuck the Red Sox. Yep. I hate fuck those teams. What do you think about the game today? Uh, brutal. 12 no 13 nothing. Just absolutely brutal. Yeah, tough tough loss, man. Tough disappointing to see. The pitching staff, what a disappointment. We thought that they'd be able to be the, the team from last year, but awful. Um, the one thing we need to do is fire Atkins, fire Schneider. Uh, like, a, couple uh, a couple things, yeah. Kevin Kiermaier played for both the Rays and the Jays, mm -hmm. and yesterday he announced he's going to retire after this season. What will you remember about him as a ball player? Um, the, the thing that comes to mind is defense. Um, when you think of Kevin Kiermaier, all you think about is his defense. Catches. Yeah, the first catch that he made in Rogers Center, the one where he leaped over the, the, the new fence, yeah. That's that's the first thing that comes to mind. Also, fan favorite, yeah. right? Like, uh, Everybody loved him. Yeah, the only person that you heard people cheering for was for Kiermaier. You heard him get up to the plate, everyone was cheering. So, that's all you can say. We ain't even hit one home run, one nothing. Come on, man, like, what's going on? How can it be two to six yesterday and we did 13 to zero? Boys, you gotta tell me what's going on. Like, tell me what's going on. Were we partying last night? Like, they must have been. They had to. You feel me? They had to. What was going on? 13-0. They're all hung over. They okay. had to be, my guy. Like 13-0. Something, something's off. Something gotta be off. And I need you guys to come back to me and tell me what y'all guys do wrong. And sit down and think about it. Sit down and look at your reruns. Look at where you gone wrong. And let me watch the tape. And learn for tomorrow. Tomorrow's another game we play at seven o'clock. Don't. Sorry, I'm just cuss. No worries. Oh, Don't mess can. up. Yeah, <laughs> Don't watching. fuck it up. Kerwin, air it out, baby. I'm so fucking I'm so fucking tired of watching this team play baseball. Like you said, and like I mentioned at the top of the video, you can't be losing this many series consecutively and not only losing them, games like this, 
where you get fucking shit kicked 13 nothing. You're not even being competitive. This team going into last season, I know obviously this is last season, but they were supposed to be a World Series favorite. The odds had them as a World Series favorite. The next season, they're way below 500 and they're losing games 13 to fucking nothing. This is this is completely unacceptable. It's fucking garbage. I couldn't have said any better myself. Frankly, I'm mad. Fans are mad. Kerwin's mad. And Kerwin's opinion matters most here, okay? So, like, I don't know what else to say. I can't say fire management more than I already have because... Fire them. Fire management. Fire Ross Atkins. Fire John Schneider. Get it done. We keep saying it. Things aren't going to change this season, and that's evident. Except for the fact Kukuchi is probably gone, unfortunately. Turner... Not unfortunately. You don't think so? No, fuck them. Trade them. We need to get something back. We need prospects. We have no prospects at all. We need to replenish the prospect pool, help rebuild this team, or at least retool it in some sense. We need to trade whatever pending free agents we have and get some sort of prospect pool back. We have to. We thank Kevin Kiermeyer for his service. We yeah. love Kevin Kiermeyer. Like, comment, subscribe. Woo! You heard it. This is Fan First Network.